Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing four fun back to school vinyl decal projects. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. The first project that I'm going to share is a first day of school chalkboard sign. I'm sure you've probably seen this around Pinterest or going around the internet the past few years, but my son is starting kindergarten this year, so I wanted something special for his first day of school. I'm going to upload my SVG, so I'll upload images. Here's my SVG. I'll insert this into Design Space. A few days ago, I announced that I had started a Patreon account. I wanted to have some perks along with this for patrons, so I have hand-drawn SVGs for patrons to use, and you can use it for personal and commercial use. This is one of the SVGs that, will, that is available. If you're interested, I will link my Patreon account below. You can make these any colors that you want. I decided that it would be fun to make it bright colors. What I'm going to do is ungroup all of these. Now I'm just going to change these colors. The easiest way to select these instead of selecting over in the layers panel is I just drag over all of these letters. It'll select all of them and I will group them together. When you group them together, it's when you group them together, you are able to move them all together. So I use the group button all the time. I have all of these grouped. Now I'm going to change it to a green color. After that, I want these to be white, so I'll switch it to white. Now I'm just going to change my letters to different colors. It's going to be hard to highlight these letters with this here, so I am just going to go over to the layers panel, select the eye so I can hide it. Then I'm just going to make these different colors. my colors how I want it. I'm going to unhide this. Each color will be separated on a different mat. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to highlight over all of these and group them together. Now I'm going to take a shape. I'm going to grab a square. My chalkboard I bought from Joann's. It was I had, it was 70% off, so it was a little over $3. Normally, I believe it's around $8. It is 12 inches by 18 inches, but there's a small border on the outside. So the actual size of the chalkboard is 10 and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. So what I like to do is take a square, I'll hit unlock so I can change the dimensions, and I am going to type in 10.5 by 16.5. This makes it easy for me to size all of this. What I'm going to do is right, right click and hit send to back. I'm going to zoom out and now I can resize this how I want it so that it will fit right inside of this square. So this is a really nice trick. Um, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. That's probably about the size that I want it. I'm just going to highlight over these and I'll hit align and center just to see how it looks. And I think that looks really good. Now what I'm going to do is delete the square. Before I click on make it, I want to make sure that my letters are attached. So once again, I am going to hide this so it's easier to do this. I'll hit ungroup and I'll hide this. So now what I'm going to do is I want to attach these together. If you don't attach it, it'll sh the letters will be all jumbled up when you click on make it. So attach it makes it look just like this. With this red, I could attach just this um, and just this so that I can bring these closer together. But I think it's going to be easier to keep it proportional by highlighting all of this and hitting attach. It might waste a little bit of vinyl in here, but since it's not too much, I'm going to do it that way. Just attach the rest of these. With this 
circle as well so it's easier for me to drag over those letters so I will bring these back and it looks like we are ready to make it so I'll click make it you can see here that it, it has separated on different mats according to color I like to sometimes just kind of check these to make sure it looks okay make sure I didn't forget to attach it or anything this over sometimes you can see that it puts it so close to the other letters and it makes it easier to cut these apart so I might move that over a little bit but it looks like it is ready for us to cut this so I'll hit continue and my dial set to vinyl and I'll show you how I do this the make it screen shows what vinyl color it's going to print out first so I place that on the mat and have the machine cut that out once the Cricut is done cutting the white color, my computer will prompt me on which color mat to do next. So I will just cut out all of these colors. This project would be great if you had a lot of scrap vinyl. You can place multiple vinyl colors on one mat and cut it all at the same time. And you can do this using Snap Mat on the Cricut app. I have a video sharing how to do that and I will link that down below because it really does make it go faster. But today I didn't have as many scraps so I'm just cutting it separately. I'm using Oracle 651 for my vinyl. This is permanent vinyl. I like to get this at Michael's. They sell 12 by 12 sheets that are $1.99 each and sometimes they have sales where it's 99 cents each. Um, I also buy a multicolor pack of vinyl off of Amazon. It is $15 for a 24 pack, so it's a good deal and it's nice to have multiple colors on hand if you need that. So I will leave a link for that below as well if you're interested. But I wanted to point out that pink nail polish holder I'm using. I love using this to weed out that excess vinyl. It just makes it go faster, so I will leave a link down below for that as well. I also wanted to point out that my nails look terrible, so sorry about that. I had shellac done for my sister's wedding, and it starts to peel off, and it's impossible to get off, so it is in that like awkward stage where it's not looking very good. I use Duck brand contact paper. I buy it at Walmart or Amazon. It's a good price, and it works so well. I really love using this for transfer paper, so I'll link this down below as well. I place one big sheet over the lines and reuse this transfer sheet for the rest of the vinyl decals. I like to reuse the transfer paper as much as possible. I place the transfer sheet on each decal and place it on the chalkboard. to make is something to display my son's artwork. I sometimes put it on the fridge but it gets kind of cluttered and when it gets cluttered like that I just get stressed. I found this ruler clip at the Target dollar spot and it has three clips attached to it so I thought this would be really cute to hang his artwork but of course I wanted to put some vinyl on it. I'm going to have it say Joshua's artwork. The font that I'm going to be using is Lemon Yellow Sun. The cute kid font. the letter spacing a little bit closer. I do this almost every single time I feel like with different fonts. After that I just want to ungroup this. I'm going to select all of artwork and I want to group that together. I just want these grouped and cut separately. So I'll hit group. Now we have two different pieces and I'm just going to size these. 
When I decide on what size I want something to be, I just take a ruler and measure whatever blank I'm adding the vinyl to. And it looks like it needs to be about one and a half inches tall. Double check the width too to make sure that will fit on there. I'm going to attach these together as well so all of the letters stay together. Then I'll click make it. Here's the ruler that I found at the Target dollar spot. I believe this was $3. I can't wait to hang all of my son's artwork on this from kindergarten. I'll apply the vinyl decals the same way that I did the chalkboard. that I'm going to make I found at the Target dollar spot as well. I found a crayon that had little spaces for crayons or pencils and it was completely blank on it so I thought I would add a vinyl decal to this as well. I decided I was going to make this for my son's kindergarten teacher for a first day of school gift. I'm not sure if that, that's an actual thing if people do that or if that's over the top. Let me know what you guys think, but, but I found it and decided it was really cute. If you're a teacher, it would look cute on a teacher's desk as well. I am going to upload the SVG for this. I'll save that. This is another SVG that is available for patrons if you decide to sign up for that. So I will insert this into design space blank that I'm going to be putting this on is wide so I'm gonna move these words around a little bit I am going to ungroup them I'm going to select professions and I'll make sure I select the eye as well I'm gonna move this down and I will just group each word separately oh that one's already grouped Okay. I'm just going to move these all around professions group together. I also want to select all of this and group this together. This way I'm able to align it. I'm going to move professions a little closer. I'm going to select everything. I'll hit align center horizontally. Then it makes sure that it's right. Professions is right in the center. Next I'm going to select all of this again. The height is two inches. and it makes the width seven inches. Click attach, then I'll hit make it. I just got this Cricut Bright Pad. I posted on my Instagram stories, there was a deal on Amazon Prime Day and I got it for $47. I was going back and forth if I wanted to buy it or not, but I really love it. I love it for these tiny little letters and it's really nice and with glitter iron on, I tried it with that as well. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will link, leave a link below. This was $3 at the Target dollar spot. I'm going to add the decal on here. I think it will be really cute to add my son's teacher's name on the other side and give it to her as a little first day of school teacher gift. project I'm going to do is make a coffee cup. I found a clear one that I really liked at the Dollar Tree so I'm going to use that and obviously it's just a dollar so I love that. I'm going to upload my SVG. This SVG is also hand drawn for patrons as well. Okay so I'm gonna 
I'll insert that into design space. I thought this was really cute because it looks like an apple. I am going to resize this. I'm going to make the height two and a half inches. I'm also going to make before school fuel be red and I'll do the screen. I'm going to ungroup this. Then I'll just select this. I'll change it to a green color. I'm going to select before school fuel and I will do red. I'm just going to attach before school fuel so that it shows up all together. Then we're ready to make it. I'll click on make it. You can see that it separated on both mats. Once again, this is another good project if you have scraps because you only need a tiny little bit of vinyl. For Next, I'll hit continue. I found this cup at the Dollar Tree. I just clean it with alcohol before I apply my decal. These back to school projects were so much fun to make. Each of these cost $3 and under, which is awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day.